Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tender in Two Minutes. Today we're going to take a look at winning references. If I can get it up here. Uh, okay, so you want to have a reference section that wins almost every single RFP that you're ever going to uh, get from a public organization or probably any organization is going to ask you for references. So let's make sure our references uh, differentiate ourselves from a competition and really make it pop. So here you see on the references, you're going to need a section that introduces your references section. Uh, I recommend that you cite uh, the location the RFP where they ask for it as well as um, tell them that if they need additional references or different contact information that you're more than welcome to give it to them so uh, that's great that's there the next part really where you can uh, spice things up here is add in the client's logo so um, your client uh, logo this will really draw their attention in as well as if it's another good public organization or another big organization that's really gonna make uh, your references section pop now, if we look at uh, the next part, you want to you want to um, really bring some context into this reference by providing the date that you actually did the work, and then the next big part, the most important part, is our success. So uh, this is your project description. You are going to say in here, uh, quick, high level, what you did, how you did it, how the project's similar to the one that you're you're responding to in this RFP, and that's going to help you out there. Next, you're also looking at uh, providing a contact information. So this contact information is obviously someone in the organization that knows you and can give you a good reference. And you're going to call them to make sure that they're actually there. So uh, when they do check your references, they do get a live person. Lastly, I recommend putting in some sort of picture or image that, sh that represents the project. So if you just provided a service and you don't actually have a picture of a hard good, then you might want to put a picture of your client's building or, or something like that. Just something to really bring another image onto the screen and keep your evaluator awake. I have more detailed instructions right down here. As you can see, uh, all this is posted on my website. So if you wanna learn more, you wanna win with good references, then definitely go check out my website. Also there, you can download this actual template. So free download for you there. If you go into my resources section of my page, which the link is provided down below. I hope that helps. And uh, everyone have a great day and good luck in your future tenders.